Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have got another scroller box video. Um, I don't know how it came so fast after the last one. I know that they were a bit behind um, on the April box, but this is the May box already. So yeah, let's jump straight in and see what we've got. My box got a bit damaged in the post. Um, I'm hoping that nothing has fallen out. It doesn't look like it could, so yeah, but. Let's open it up and find out what's inside. Okay, this is the May scroll box. Ooh. Looks like we might have something with charcoal. And we have got... Uh, oh, I know what these are called, but I cannot think. But I don't like them, so I'm going to be giving that to someone else. So we have another zine. I have found out, guys, I was so stupid in my last video that I was calling these zines, but I finally realised, I don't know how I've been so stupid that it's zine because it's like a magazine. And again, we've got loads of people's artworks in the scroller gallery. Wow, that's a beautiful portrait, isn't it? Am I gonna have to do a portrait today? I'm okay with that, but that is, that looks like a photograph. So I don't know how <laughs> I can draw like that. And this month's featured artist is Phoebe Cripps and you can follow their social media all right there. Oh, is there no menu? I don't have a menu. Oh no, we're gonna have to guess. Oh, I think it's in this. I think it's in there, so. So the first thing is this paint on multi techniques gris A5 paper and it's grey coloured. Oh, so it's like a nice mid tone grey. Oh, that paper is thick. Oh, it was two steps ago. <laughs> um, I like painting on mid tones and drawing on mid tones as well. So. Okay, wow. Okay, so here is the scroll bot sticker, more charcoal. Okay, let's find out what we've got. So I can tell this is going to get really messy as this paper and the menu are already covered in charcoal. So that's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> right, where should we start? So I assume in here we've got loads of different types of charcoal. Um, I'm not going to open it yet until I put stuff down. But um, it says here we have got Coates Willow charcoal sticks and a sea white black compressed charcoal block. So I'm not going to open that yet until I've put a cover down. I don't want to get my table dirty. Okay, next we have the something I cannot pronounce again. What is it with me and pronouncing things? I'll leave it everything in the description box as per usual. So if you want to know what they are, <laughs> they'll be in the description box. Um, but this is a charcoal pencil um, that can be used for fine tuning your sketches and neatening any expressive charcoal marks. Next, we have got the Lyra Rembrandt chalk pencils. I believe we've got two of those. And we've got one in sepia light and white pastel. And it says dry on it, so I assume it's an oil free pencil. Yes, it is. And can be blurred and blended using fingers, cotton buds, or putty eraser. Oh, I just tore the paper in. Uh, next is the Lyra Rembrandt Splendor Pencil. Um, this is a colourless blending pencil. When applied with a little pressure, it gives a glossy surface and helps blend tones together seamlessly. Next on the list is this Winsor & Newton Medium Kneaded Putty Eraser. Great, I love putty erasers. Um, I have one already. I think I have a Winsor & Newton one. Um, and I love them so much. I prefer them way more than normal erasers. So I'm glad to get got one of them. And they work especially well with charcoal. This is the Faber-Castell Perfection Eraser Pencil. Don't know what the difference is between each end of this one's pink and one's white. Then we have got a pencil sharpener, uh, double holes, just your average pencil sharpener. And then we have got some 
cotton buds, which isn't actually on the menu. No. But these are eco living cotton buds, so I assume they can be recycled, which is fantastic. And we can use those for blending. Okay, so this is everything we got in the May Scholar box. Um, I'm actually quite excited because I love painting, port well, not just painting, but drawing portraits. Um, but I'm not great at using charcoal, so that's going to be interesting to say the least. So the scholar challenge for this month is Carbon Heroes. Humans and charcoal both have a high percentage of carbon in common. And this month we want you to use carbon based tools in this box to create a portrait of your carbon hero. Okay, awesome. Let's see what we can do.
and this is my final work guys I have drawn a really bad version of Tom Holland as Spider-Man uh, yeah I don't know why Spider-Man as a superhero just came straight into my head but that's what it did and I really enjoyed using everything I don't really use this at all the sepia toned charcoal um, and I kind of didn't like this blending stick thing that didn't really work for me um, I much preferred using the q-tips and yeah uh, I thought it was completely messy and I like using charcoal but I don't think it's enough of a, a like for me to go and carry on using it because of the mess um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe I've just passed a 100 subscribers so thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel it means a lot to me and I will see you on the next video. Bye!